Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. And uh, Rhonda Shears of Up All Night. Now, not yeah. something I was ever familiar with, but it seemed to be some kind of science feat. What's that? She's basically kind of 90s Elvira, isn't she? Yes, or Emily Booth in Britain. Or, again, there's a great photo, but it's the most early 90s photo of all time. And it's a picture of her, it's staged, mm. of her in the back of a limo with Shawn Michaels. Right. And she is looking Rona Shear, so she's wearing this body latexy mm. sort of thing, and she's pulling a baby doll face, and her legs are up on the seat, which, yeah. um, if it was Mike, I'd be very angry about. And <laughs> next to her is Shawn Michaels, and he's looking bored, and he's got this fluffy on top mullet that goes down, <laughs> and he's got a white bum bag, and I think cowboy boots, and it's Beautiful. just the 90s. Everyone, everyone pretends like the 90s were acceptable in any way, and that photo <laughs> sums it all up. It's so fucking horrible. But, uh, yeah, she's she's not great. <laughs> Todd Pettengill with Rhonda Shear, host of Up All Night on USA. This is great. I'm so huh? excited to be here. Oh. Everybody knows why Rhonda Shear is here, and that's to be with the Heartbreak Sean Kids. Everybody Wayne. knows we're on item. Now, photographer, I got him here. Yes, on yes. three, I want okay, you to say Sean. cheese, all right? Do you One, miss me? two, three, cheese. Oh. Hey. Hey, Burt Reynolds! Burt Reynolds! Burt Reynolds! I don't know why Burt Reynolds is involved here. No, it, it seemed to be a slight period where they have to mention, they say, currently starring in Evening Shade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a tie-in for whatever shit show he's into. Yeah, I, I'm right. currently starring in like it was not necessarily a long-term job. <laughs> <laughs> in between this bit uh, and the, the next time Burt Reynolds appears, he's definitely appearing at the bar because he yeah. seems pissed at the end yeah. of it. I'm happier to be here than you are. <laughs> I don't know about that. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest scheduled for one fall is our second World Wrestling Federation Championship match. This time, I introduce you to the special guest referee. Uh, basically, Shawn Michaels goes, don't fucking cock block me. Yeah. And Burt Reynolds goes, why don't you go and shave your chest? Yeah. What, what could be more masculine than having <laughs> a shaved chest? And, and Shawn and Michaels it, sort of goes, what are you packing under there? Tapping on the chest. And Burt Reynolds, clearly not ready for this line, finds it amusing. He goes, ha, ha, ha. And then Rona Shear says, ah, oh, you keep me up all night. And Burt Reynolds says, oh, I could uh, help you out with that. I'm oh, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. We could discuss that. Do some, do some fucking... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. But we need to cut time. Can you just say, I'm going to fuck her and you have to leave? (laughs) It's worth saying as well that I think Shawn Michaels probably left that interview bit and was having a sex with another woman (laughs) within three seconds. I mean, I I don't think he was having to fight that hard to have sex with people. I imagine if someone said, mate, actually, I'm going to, he's like, well, this is too much time. I'm moving on to the next one. (laughs) I was so excited about getting that out that I said, have a sex. And let me just make it clear. That's not how I think. That's not how I speak or say, I would say have sex. I wouldn't say have a sex in that sort of cutesy way that someone might... Either you know, way, you shout it through a letterbox. Yeah. Uh, they don't call it a bum bag, do they? In uh, fanny, fanny pack. pack. You call it a fanny pack. Fanny but you- pack. But uh, Coming back from the Albert Hall yesterday, you go through Hyde Park, and there was a lady walking out, and I looked at her, and she was, you know, probably 60, 65, mm. and she was just walking out, and she just had a pair of knickers on and nothing else. Wow. I thought, fucking hell. And as she got closer, and the light got a bit better... It was Luna Frechon. <laughs> <laughs> she was actually wearing, like, a salmon pink like <laughs> pair of shorts and a top, but she had a white bum bag ah. that had slipped down. It looked absolutely disgusting. <laughs> absolutely repulsive. <laughs> what a I had to jump out of the car to stop Jerry Lawler getting to her. Let's talk about some ladies. Ladies! Uh, Alundra Blaze versus Lalani Kai. Yes. Um, Lalani Kai becomes the only person who was in both WrestleMania 1 and WrestleMania 10. Is that right? She takes on Moolah. Ah. Uh, Moolah is, Moola is pictured on, like, the old people's benches. Yes, with Mae Young and Nikolai Volkov. Nikolai Volkov. Yeah. Nikolai Volkov. In just... a 
suit. Yeah. A weird suit like you might give to a 1940s riverboat hustler. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he's let his hair grow out a bit. Yeah. He looks mighty strange. He does look mighty strange. I mean, but can't speak about Mueller anymore. A lot of people get very upset. The important thing is, we can all agree Mueller is dead. <laughs> uh, uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter has got a file on a lot of wrestlers. <laughs> all right, that's all I'm saying. And he looks like a wrestler. He does look like a wrestler. Has he's he not got in the like ring? Dallas Page. He must have got in the ring. Surprisingly, I don't think he has. Unless really? he's done like, he never did one of the big federations. Big ones, right, no. okay. Yeah. I think even wrestling probably went, he's a bit low rent, is he? <laughs> I don't know. He might not be. He looks very, very much like Dallas Page. Right, okay, That was yeah. a missed opportunity by WCW not to have the two of them together. <laughs> Um, this is a bit of a nothing match. She's uh, good, though. Um, she is. Uh, uh, she was really very, very good at the time. The problem is there was absolutely nobody to put her against. Right. So she was just this star. She'd gone over to Japan. She mm. trained in Japan. She'd had good matches. She was articulate. She was very pretty. She was very athletic. Yeah. And so they decided to build a di- women's division around her. Mm. But they had absolutely no one to act as an opponent as for good, her. As good as her. No. Or even so close. You end up having Lilani Kai who was, I mean, not well-known even 10 years ago. Mm. And she's back on this. And, you know, God bless her. She ended up being a monster truck She did, driver, yeah. Yeah, which she I did. Quite like. yeah, she she's... damaged herself quite badly at one point. <laughs> did she? Yeah. She, was... she does all that stuff in the wrestling and then she nearly kills us having a bloody monster truck. Yeah. They the brought... biggest truck possible. <laughs> Every wrestler dies in a fucking car, no matter how big it is. <laughs> What's horrible as well is you do see the changes in the attitudes. And Lawler here has just got a stock load of isn't she ugly jokes. Yeah. You know, there are always a lot of TV stars and movie stars at WrestleMania. Whoa! Yeah? I was just cover, thinking... Wait a minute! You were expecting? That, uh, no, I was just thinking that Alundra Blaze, with her looks, she could, uh, she could star in TV westerns if she had two more legs. <laughs> And there's, she's getting a lot of work in the movies. They're westerns. They stick another two legs on her and she looks like a horse. Right, okay. And she's got a million dollar body and a 10 cent face. And then later, her match is over and they go to this tag match. And Lawler is still going on about it, going, oh, you know, that fat bloke could lose some weight by looking at a photo of her because then he'd feel so sick, he'd stop eating. Oh, it's right. Like, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> you know, you're, you're the one woman doing this. You're a trailblazer. <laughs> and you've got a man who six months before was charged with statutory rape of a minor <laughs> going on about how he wouldn't fuck you. I mean, yeah. how, how did they expect it to get over? Well, we knew what he would be. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we kind of... For all so many years, looking on as Alundra Blaze, now the current title holder. And a successful title defense. Even you have to be impressed, King. No, I was not impressed. Well, after that, they go back to doing more shit with the yeah. president. Congratulations uh, on raising the taxes, because it's high time the checks cheats out there <laughs> started paying their fair share. Sentiment I agree with. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I couldn't find it disagreeable. No, no, IRS, I like his look. Yeah. I, I like IRS, to be honest. Yeah. I like the fact that the presidential suite on the, yeah. in, in the thing, chipboard, just, just <laughs> chipboard <laughs> with a couple of muggy little flags. He's also sitting next to the on-screen WWF president. A, yes. A role which is very, I mean, it really didn't do anything. Mm. They'd occasionally just go, there's been a controversy. And so Jack Tunney, who was a guy from Canada, he would come out. And I think Jack Tunney, he must have seen some stuff over the years. Son of a promoter in Canada and as part of selling the area to the McMahons when they were doing their national takeover, mm. they gave Tunney this sort of figurehead role in the WWF. Just, I, he didn't really do anything ever. He just <laughs> he would just come out occasionally and go let the battle commence. Um, brilliant. What a great job to have. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. So he was never like in court for the shit that went on? No, I think right. he was largely just a storyline authority figure. Right. Which again made it confusing when you were trying to work out who owned, who, who owned the thing. Yeah. Because there's a man who they pay to come in every two months and they go, he's the owner. <laughs> and, and he's so boring on air, there's no reason why you'd think and this they, man is a paid actor. And they, <laughs> and they shouldn't have an IRS man in their employ for some reason. I mean, they, they shouldn't have that. Again, and a king. That brilliant thing of Vincent Mann going, ah, the Inland Revenue would be really fucked off. <laughs> when, when they see my a version of them talking to the president and saying, people who avoid tax really should pay it. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck it to them. <laughs> they're, they're not watching the product. They're very much piecing together shredded documents. That's exactly what they're doing. They're, they're simply working out the maximum sentence they can give you. <laughs> 
Adam Bomb. <laughs> Why is he here? Adam Who's Bomb that? Was a young wrestler who was 29. They spent a lot of money. They gave him a, quite an exciting gimmick. Yeah. He was supposed to be from near Three Mile Island, where they'd had a nuclear uh, uh, okay. uh, issue yeah, yeah. Uh, in the Man. 80s, I think yeah. it was. And uh, he actually did come from very close to Three Mile Island in real life. Right. So it was a gimmick based in his life. And they spent all this money giving him contact lenses and a, a hazmat explosion mm. suit and these things. And then everyone lost interest in it and they just squashed him and then they fired him. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so they give Classic. Earthquake. Earthquake, who is, you know, not going to be around WWF very much longer. No. Uh, established star, they give him the young bloke, and Earthquake is just allowed to squish him really quickly. Yeah. I think 35 by, seconds, isn't Yeah, it? I think by this point they are actually having timing issues because uh, they end up having to drop a big match entirely that has eight different, it's an eight-man tag, so there's eight people in it. And I hope the rest has got appearance fee still. There's a little bit where they appear on the screen squabbling about who's going to be the leader in the match, and uh, then they go, I want to be leader. And the other one goes, I want to be leader. And it cuts back and Vince just goes, well, that match isn't going to take place because they can't agree. So I hope that if they did say, are we being paid? Vince just turns around and just says, you were arguing about who you, that, you ruined it. <laughs> Unprofessional. Yeah. Play the game, mate. <laughs> kayfabe. <laughs> kayfabe, eh? <laughs> yeah, your check was very much kayfabe. <laughs> <laughs> 